can the Warriors make the finals this year? So currently, the Warriors are in the fifth spot in the Western Conference with a record of 34 and 31. So while throughout this entire season they have been very on and off and it seemed like they might not even make the playoffs, let alone the finals, this is recently changing. They, right before they lost to the Lakers just this weekend, were on a five game winning streak and were playing some great basketball. Also with the return of Steph Curry and Andre Iguodala, they have a full roster that they can now go into, hopefully into the playoffs, uh, barring any future injuries. Even though they've had a very rocky season and it's been very inconsistent and it seemed like their dynasty may have come to an end with this season, their recent emergence as well as a fully, fully healthy roster and their proven leadership and experience in the finals and the playoffs might make them a contender for the championship once again. What are some of the Warriors' challenges? Well, I know that they have more than just three, but the three biggest that I have seen in watching them all season long is their lack of consistency in terms of scoring and just the way that they play the game, their over-reliance on threes, and their lack of great defensive skills, which also is due to their size. So I'll just throw that in the same category as well. For example, just this weekend with their loss to the Lakers, the Warriors shot over 50 threes but made less than 20 of them. And while 20 made three pointers, or I think they made 18 or 19, is a great stat line, and 19 made three pointers for any team is great. When you take over 50 of them and you know, less than half goes in, it's very difficult to win, especially when their defense is very lackluster. So as I said, this not tremendous shooting um, combined with their lack of size, which was unable to stop Anthony Davis, who had 39 points on Sunday, uh, was a recipe for disaster and was the biggest reason they lost to the Lakers. Just going off of this example, hypothetically speaking, when the Warriors do make the playoffs, which they most likely will since they are in the fifth spot in the West, just looking at the teams that they could face, uh, they could face the likes of Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and of course, most likely the person that's going to win the MVP, Nikola Jokic. And these are just kind of bigger players. I'm not counting guards like Kyrie Irving or Luka Doncic in this category. I'm just talking about bigger players that are going to play more inside. And so I think that this is where their challenge really starts, is their lack of size, which causes them to not have a great defense, especially down low. They have pretty quick and feisty guards, uh, like Jordan Poole and Steph Curry, even though they're not great defensively. They're very mobile and they, they're very quick, and Klay Thompson is a really good defender. And so on the perimeter, I don't see them facing a lot of problems with even like Kyrie Irving and Luka who are like two of the best guards in the league but down low even though Draymond Green is a defensive player of the year um, he is getting older and he's never been really able to stop players that are much taller than him I think that Draymond Green is a great defender when it comes to him picking up guys like Luka or Kyrie where they're smaller but he always has had trouble even guarding guys like Kevin Durant, let alone someone as big as Nikola Jokic or Carl Anthony Towns, where they can kind of just bully him down low. And if, you know, doubles come, which they will, like on Nikola Jokic, a double will come from like a guard, then they can kick it out to someone like Jamal Murray or Aaron Gordon. Um, and those are pretty decent shooters, like for example, on the Nuggets. And then with the Lakers, if they pass it to AD, they double. They could kick it to someone like Malik Beasley or Dennis Schroeder. Or who Malik Beasley is a great three-point shooter. Dennis Schroeder is so-so. But these are guys that if they're wide open, they will most likely knock down their shots. And this is a tremendous challenge that the Warriors will face in the playoffs. And speaking of hitting three-pointers, um, I think this is also another challenge, as I mentioned, for the Warriors. I think that they are very, very over-reliant on the three-pointer. Uh, it seems like if they have a less than stellar night from three-point line um, and are up against a team that is decent, like the, like the Lakers, 
they most likely will lose. Um, a lot of times they take over 40 threes a game, and I know that they have great shooters. They have two of the greatest in Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, and so obviously their system should be built around threes because that's what their two best players can do the best. And they have guys like Jordan Poole that can knock it down as well, and Lamb. Um, and a bunch of other guys that can knock it down as well. Basically, everyone besides Kevon Looney and Trayvon Green on the team are pretty consistent three-point shooters, and so their system being built around threes makes a lot of sense. However, when they're not shooting well, especially in when defenses ramp up, which will happen in the playoffs, this will lead them to a lot of failure uh, if they aren't shooting well and if their defense doesn't ramp up like the rest of the teams will. Now that we've talked about some of the challenges that the Warriors will face, uh, we can talk about their advantages because they definitely have a lot of those as well. First off, uh, it's obvious to say that the Warriors have two of the greatest shooters in NBA history as I mentioned. They have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. These guys can go off for 30, 40, even 50 points a night any given night of the NBA and have proven to do so in the regular season and in the playoffs and those two are the biggest reasons why the Warriors are a dynasty and have won four championships in the last couple of years. In addition to that, four championships in the last couple of years and consistent runs to the playoffs and the finals gives you a lot of leadership and experience. And not only do their players have a lot of leadership and experience such as Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, uh, but also even Kamal Looney and Andre Iguodala who have been there basically the entire time. But also their coaching staff has a lot of experience as well, especially Steve Kerr. Not only has he won five championships as a player, but he's also now won four as the Warriors head coach. And it seems like wherever he goes, winning continues. He's been a great general manager with the Phoenix Suns, and he's been an amazing coach for the Warriors and has shown that he will make changes uh, that are, will be effective if things aren't going to plan. And that could be their biggest advantage, in my opinion, the great coaching that they have. As we may remember, the first championship run that the Warriors had all the way back in 2015, that was the first time that um, Steve Kerr changed up his lineup and went to small ball where he, kind of, where he played Draymond Green at center and kind of took out um, Andrew Bogut. From those changes that he's made in the past, Steve Kerr is willing to make these adjustments mid-game and not be stubborn and sticking to one plan that he may have going into the game. So overall, I, I believe that if the Warriors can ramp up their defense, be a little less reliant on threes, and be just a little bit more consistent in the way that they play both offensively and defensively, they could definitely be a threat and a true contender in this year's playoffs and potentially even win another championship. However, if, if all these things that I mentioned does not happen and they continue to face the challenges that they have faced all year long, it might not look good for them and this could be the end of a dynasty as we know it. Steph Curry is 34 years old, Klay Thompson is right up there in age, so is Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala is obviously very old and probably will retire this year if not next year. Um, and the other guys that they have are nothing more than role players, maybe besides Jordan Poole, who I think really fits in just to the system and might not be this great on any other team. And so this might be really the last year that they have to ramp things up and go for another championship run because um, if they don't win it this year, I'm not sure if they'll ever be in position to come back and win it again. We'll see how it goes. I'm very excited for the playoffs to begin and it's going to be very fun to watch. Not only the Warriors, but just the rest of the league because it seems like in this year's playoffs, anything can and will happen. Thank you.